Alright, hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Broha, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the highest rendering settings for Power Director 10. Now, a lot of this stuff is going to vary depending on your what you captured video with. It might be your camera, your cell phone, a uh, video camera, or a video capture card, which in this video, that is what I use. Now, as we go along, I'll show you what can, I'll tell you what is going to be, could vary, and what to do about that if it is different than what I did. Um, Alright, so we're in the editing tab first. Uh, I'm just going to put a random Halo 3 clip in here, which I already did. I'm not going to edit it, just going to keep it at its raw file. And uh, before anything, before you go to your produce section, make sure everything was in 16 by 9 format. That's widescreen HD, and you're not going to have those black bars in your YouTube video. Um, as opposed to 4x3, which is going to have those black bars. Alright, so now let's go to the Produce tab. Um, and with the formats, you have a various types over here. Um, you got MP two IREC, oh, actually three, I guess I could recommend. There's AVI, MPEG 2, and H.264. I personally like MPEG 2 the best. I'm most comfortable with it. I like the set, the various settings you get a change in it. And so that's what I'm going to use. Um, you're going to want to make a custom profile. Um, I have already mine named Halo 3, and you're going to want to hit this button to create a new profile, but I'm going to edit mine, which is right here, um, and then you should have this screen come up, name your profile, then over, head over to the video tab. Now this is something that's going to vary is your resolution. You want to keep it consistent with what you captured yours at, as it might be Mine, I of, I captured mine at 1280 by 720, so I want to keep it at that. But you might have captured yours at 1920 by 1080, so of course move that up to that higher higher resolution, and, and there you go. Which, uh, yeah, okay. And so I captured mine at 1280 by 720, so I'm gonna keep it at that. Uh, for your mode, CVBR recommend that for everything. Your bitrate. This is something that's really gonna be different with everyone but it's only if you really know what you captured yours at and I know for a fact I captured my video at 40,000 kilobytes per second but because this program only lets me go up to 25,000 kilobytes per second I'm gonna put it at the highest bitrate it can be now if you do know what your device captured at the average kilobytes per second then put it at that as it might be say yours captured at 10,000 kilobytes per second put it at that because that's the highest it's going to get and you can't go any higher than that it just it's not going to make a difference um but if you don't know i just recommend putting it at twenty-five thousand because that's the highest it can go because that's just the nicest it's going to look the higher the kilobytes per second the nicer the video the ni more pixels that are on the screen um so yeah that's make sure the average and maximum are the same so they're not going up and down during the video uh, the next one would be the advanced tab. Um, I have smoothing uh, checked. I didn't know what smoothing was at first, and I tried to look it up and nothing would tell me, but I figured out smoothing is where it kind of puts the frames board like together and makes the, the whole video kind of run smoother. Say like if you had low frames per second, then smoothing would make it look nicer. And so I always have that checked, even if I captured at a high frame rate, I always have that checked. Noise removal I don't have checked. Um, for this frame type, if somehow this is like not like this and you can actually move it around, it probably is going to say interlaced or progressive. Make sure it's on progressive. It's a higher video quality over interlaced. Uh, for the speed quality indicator, make sure it's on 7. This program already records at a ridiculous, or renders at a ridiculous pace, so you want it to be the highest, keep that highest quality, and the highest quality is setting. So keep it on that. Uh, and then let's over to the audio tab. Um, I have a choice between Dolby Digital and MPEG Audio. I keep it on MPEG Audio, and it only allows for the audio channel to be stereo, so that's what I keep it at. Uh, the audio compression rate, this can vary. Um, I know for I know I captured mine at a 384 kilobytes per second audio rate. Now, if you know for a fact, say you know that you could you captured it yours at 192, put it at that. But if you don't know, just put it at 384 at the highest. Um, 
so that you get the highest quality if you don't know but if you do put it on that that point that you captured at because if you captured at 192 it's pointless to go up to 384 it's not going to make the sound sound better um so that's out of all those tabs that's it um hit okay uh the last thing i'd recommend is picking your out changing your output folder to where you want that video to go to i have mine on my second hard drive uh, because my local hard drive disk is only for my OS and it's pretty much already full and so I put it in this one where I put everything and hit save and then you're just gonna hit start and that's the end of this um, I'll show you how this uh, video clip looked with those settings